Hello guys and gals, I'm coming to you from my little garage eBay warehouse here and I'm going to do a really short video, just the basics of why I use the website Pirate Ship. I'll show you the screen in a minute. I haven't quite figured out how to do the videos where you see the screen real time so I'm going to have to reset this up after we're done introing this video and show you what we're dealing with. But basically, you use Pirate Ship it uses um, what they call a, it's kind of a dimensional weight, uh, cubic to be specific. Basically, uh, there's a weight limit, I believe, somewhere around 40 pounds. And if it's less than 18 inches by 18 inches, and you're able to either put it in, like this one, I put it in, believe it or not, a trash bag. And um, that counts as box in a bag. If I were to ship this without the wrapping, it would go regular priority. As you can see, it still goes priority today. Um, it weighs, this one here weighs, um, Jesus, I don't know. It weighs a couple pounds. But anyway, it basically, you put it box in a bag, and it's going to allow you to ship it um, for a lot cheaper. The one I'm going to show you is about 32% cheaper then it would have cost me just going priority or even UPS or FedEx. Um, I don't get sponsored or paid by them, but I noticed <clears throat> I use a spreadsheet, an Excel spreadsheet, to show you that in a later video, uh, and it tracks my shipping costs. And I noticed my shipping for my first year, this is now going in my third year, was high, and I thought it was something that I could do to reduce it. So I researched, I found Pirate Ship, um, and it reduced my shipping costs. It's something that you can use to control uh, your costs, of course, and increase your profit is to decrease your shipping costs, decrease your supplies, stuff like that. So give me just a sec. I'll reposition the camera. I'll show you my screen, and uh, I'll show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, hang in there. All right, I'm back. Okay, so here's what I wanted to show you. Here, this is my, my eBay screen here. And I sold this little Baby Yoda, Star Wars Mandalorian guy. Um, and it's going international. It's just doing the eBay international when it, it just goes to Kentucky and they deal with it. Uh, I hope you can see that it's 2, two pounds, 5 ounces, and its dimensions are 14 by 10 by 8. So you scroll down here. The cheapest thing they've got is FedEx. FedEx Ground. Um, I don't, it doesn't say how long it'll take. Probably, you know, 5 days, whatever it is priority mail which is what the customer is expecting they're expecting this to be there in two to four days which priority should do I don't know about international but once it'll get to Kentucky in two to five days it's gonna cost me actually I have the label right here I'm showing I already printed it it's showing it'll be to Kentucky in two days <clears throat> that's what they're expecting anyhow so that's how much I'd I'd uh, pay so you swing on over to pirate ship uh, I can't scroll up because that's gonna show you everybody's addresses I will show you that yes, it is going from roughly my house, somewhere in an undisclosed northern Utah, all the way to Kentucky. And it cost me right here, I hope you can see it says $9.22. That's 31% cheaper than uh, it would have cost. Now it's getting shipped priority mail at the cubic rate. Like I said earlier, cubic, I'm I'm almost certain it's 18 by 18 inches. I am using the bag box in the bag method which I showed you just a second ago but this is what it'll this is what it'll look like it this is a trash bag I wrapped it in a trash bag that is a box in a bag you can also use um, poly bubble bubble mailers I've used all those things I've shipped swimming pools to Puerto Rico for 16 bucks okay swimming pools not the giant ones with frames but heavy swimming pools to Puerto Rico priority speed for 16, it was like 1642. This is like, I hate this term, game changer, but you're gonna save a lot of money using Pirate Ship. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but I, you know, Pirate Ship, you know, come come find me if you want me to, because whatever. Anyway, so if you go to their website, I'll do a more in depth video, like I said. There's gonna be a, like a normal ship it in a box, and then you have to click on that, and it'll open up your options, and it'll say box in a bag. Click on that one. Enter your dimensions, only the first two. So this, the dimensions on this I entered would have been um, 
14 by 10, and then on the label here it says cubic rate going to zone 7, 14 by 10, don't do the depth, it's just the length and the width, and it prints off like a normal label, and you're good to go. Like I said, it cost me 9 bucks. Now this isn't going to be huge if you're shipping one or two things, and you know, I saved what, like $4 or something, $4.30? Uh, last year I sold about 2,500 items, so even if 500 of those I saved four bucks. What is that? Two thousand dollars, right? I'm a horrible man. Yeah, two thousand bucks I could have saved if five hundred the five hundred of those items I saved four bucks on. So that's two thousand bucks I would have saved just in shipping. So anyway, check it out, PirateShip.com. There's nothing illegal about it. It's just a rate that I guess eBay doesn't offer. The cool thing about it, and I'll show you later on, like I said, is Pirate Ship interfaces with eBay so you just enter in your information and it will import all your eBay um, orders over automatically and populate it on their screen and then you just go from there so anyhow that's the situation with pirate ship and the eBay's thanks